Welcome to my crib. Let me show you around. As you can see, we've got a really expansive living room slash dining room. This is where I kick back and relax. It's got dining space for four, high spec kitchen with all the right appliances, and of course, top of the line granite. And then we've got the bathroom. What are you doing? Get out! On the first floor is the master bedroom. So we've been living here for a day, maybe a day and a half. And unfortunately we got kicked out because there are apparently laws about whether this is a home. So we had to suck it up and actually buy our very first house. And we're picking up the keys today. And here we are. Doesn't work. Oh, maybe the key's for that one over there. First things first, it's time to let the dogs out. Break! The dogs are already loving the garden. It's wonderfully grown up. It looks so exciting. Go get them, go get them, go get them! Ta da! We have a real living room. Through here is the kitchen. And then there's the upstairs. We have a small bedroom. We have a larger bedroom. And we have a poop bedroom. The master bedroom even has its own shower and its own sink in it. How practical is that? Through here is the bathroom. Alec, again, get a knock, man. Jamie! Let's go see the garage. Something I've always dreamed of is having a property where I could have a shop on it. It's the dream. I think it's anybody that makes stuff. It's their dream, a big shop on a property. Well, that was out of our budget for this house. So it's a small garage. And I didn't think it would be possible, but as I look at it, it's kind of five or six meters by five or six meters, you know, almost 20 foot by 20 foot. I could potentially squeeze my workshop in here. What do you guys- What's your bloody dad? Um, okay, maybe the neighbors won't like that. Now the most important part of this whole house tour is also the most expensive part, and that's the swimming pool. Woohoo! Crazy, up, oh, good job. Yeah, he's going. Yoga prefers it. So we've got a lot of work to do on this house, and I apologize to the very lovely person that sold us this home, but we're gonna have to start refurbishing it delicately. <laughs> now I've gotta say, I'm really very lucky, and there's a lot of people, you included, and you, who have been part of this being a possibility that we can have a home. Over the last number of years, a lot of you have been watching, and that has helped provide the opportunity to build a business, to then have employees and team members that have helped us. We've had sponsors along the way, and you've supported our sponsors. Our team members have worked hard and been a part of this journey. And there is countless people to thank for the fact that we now have a house. What will be a roof over our heads. And so, thank you to you for watching these videos. Thank you to Jamie. Jamie, you're gonna die! <laughs> thank you to Will. Thank you to the countless other people that we have had along this journey as a part of building these businesses. We've been really blessed to have some really good people working really damn hard for us over the years. So thank you to you guys. I've got to interrupt just to thank today's sponsor, which is Gym Plus Coffee. Which is an athleisure and lifestyle brand creating awesome pieces of active wear like what I am wearing right now. Outside of the workshop this summer has been a ton of fun because I've spent a lot of time walking the dogs, a lot of time on the beach, and I've also been getting back into the gym. I'm quite opinionated when it comes to my active shorts, and these are very good. The pockets are a reasonable size. They're incredibly soft, comfortable. They move with you without restricting you, and no matter how much I'm moving, my phone or my wallet in my pocket stays put, isn't flopping around. This sweater is unbelievably comfortable and it's got a wonderful low profile kangaroo pouch at the front unlike a big hoodie pouch this one's a little more reasonable size allowing you to store something in there and the t-shirt is soft stretchy and quite moisture wicking 
I'm a big fan. Whether you're working out or just lounging around the house, they're gonna have some fantastic products for you. Please go hit the link in my description down below to check out their phenomenal range of products and use code STEEL at checkout to get 20% off. Thank you, Jim Plus Coffee, for sponsoring this. Let's get back to the renovation. Jamie and I have gutted this room. We probably got a whole skip's worth of stuff out of it, and it looks so much bigger and lighter. We've even got a beautiful wood floor underneath that engineered stuff there was there, and we're gonna jump right in to gutting another one. What? What's up? Nothing. We're just doing this. Why are you ringing? We're not ringing anything. Somebody's ringing the bell. Oh, what? The buzzer? You know, like any of those bells that are in the room? Because that thing is going off. Is it still going off? So this house has what was called butler bells. So in some of the rooms there are these buttons and it'll ring a bell if you push it. Oh. And we're up there in the bedroom and for some reason it's just started ringing. As soon as I start cutting into the carpet, you guys are joking. as soon as I start cutting into the no, carpet, you, are, you start you yelling at me not. going, what's going on? What do you want? <sighs> See that rings a different one and it stops it. Either this, this is glitching and it never glitched before I cut into the carpet or something that I've spent my whole life being able to not believe in, ghosts and the paranormal, is in the house that we just bought. So we got the keys on Wednesday, today is Saturday, and we've been working non-stop. We've probably got one or two skip loads out here. We've got another skip or two here. Last night we finished ripping up the kitchen and tearing up the vinyl, and we found horrendous dampness in the floor. It's rotten, there's woodworm. So we bought a dehumidifier a few hours ago, and it is already filling up with water. Further to that, we started peeling off the wallpaper here, uncovering an utterly moist wall. The dampness is horrifying, and it is all just completely rotten through here. The carpeted stair treads are now gone. The bookcase up here is now being ripped to bits because we're very worried about the potential for dampness on this back wall up here as well. Mrs. Steele is continuing to make progress stripping the paint off the bedroom walls. And the second bedroom is almost gutted as well. Massive, massive progress has been made. And this is a utter and complete hoot. Now I would please ask that you just boop crazy and yoga on the nose virtually by hitting like. Please do that. You're being very, very good dogs. Very good dogs. Continue stripping out the third bedroom. You think that's the best thing for me to do? Yeah. Jolly good. In this room here, we just got the cabinet out, and it turns out it wasn't a ghost here. Because we were demolishing the cabinet, we were pushing this butler bell that was behind the fitted cabinets. So that's great. We don't have a ghost that we know of. Could you please tell us the wall that we are demolishing? It is not a load-bearing wall. It's made out of super thin stuff. And what is the plan? Why are we doing it? Because we want to add another wall over here. And what that'll do is it's gonna make this bedroom a little smaller, it's already huge, and it'll make this bedroom livable, and it'll allow it to actually be framed off. Let's do it. Good work, team. Thanks. Good work. So through the whole house, we almost have every bit of original floorboard exposed. But in here, what was the larder, it's still so pungent. The smell of rot. So we are going to rip up the vinyl that's in here, expose it down to its original wood floor, because our next big project tomorrow is gonna to be demolishing this wall here in the kitchen 
to make the kitchen. How big? Like large. Very large. Look at this behind the dryer. There is a hole specifically for rats to enter. How thoughtful were they? Well, we got all the vinyl uncovered. I've got some shelves off the wall. I found more of these awesome old school nailed into masonry fittings where they chisel in a hole, put a chunk of wood in and then nail it. And I also found these cool old relics. Lord knows how old that instant coffee pack is. So we've just had this skip show up. I think it's time for us to clean up our mess just a little bit. So let's do some skipping. We did it. That's a full skip. Here's how we're looking at day six. The kitchen wall is about to be knocked down. These walls here are about to be knocked down. What will be the second and third rooms are taking shape. We're gonna have a wall up, a couple extra doors. And of course, we've got a hell of a lot of stripping to do in the master bedroom. Now I'm sure there is a burning question that a lot of you would like to ask. And the question probably is, Alec, what on earth is going on with America? You come back to the UK, you say you're gonna be here for a few months, you know, yeah, we get it, you're setting up a second base of operations, but you've been here for freaking 10 months. Like, I mean, that's a bit stupid, isn't it, Alec? Well, here's the thing. As soon as the coronavirus hit, the US closed their borders to non-US citizens coming into the country who'd been in the UK or in Europe 14 days prior. And those rules are still currently in effect, which means I have no way of getting back into the US without spending 14 days in a different country, like Mexico or Turkey. So we're a little bit more stuck than we thought we were gonna be when we thought we'd be able to be back in the US in February or March. We're trying to make the best of the situation that we have. We're setting up our first actual home. And the hope and dream is to also have a home in Montana so that we can enjoy life in America as well as in the UK. But with the borders still shut now, a year and a half on, I have no idea when I'm back in America. Playing the waiting game, we're making the best of this situation. And by goodness, I am thrilled. Six days into owning a home, it's been exhausting, but by gosh, has it been fun. And I'm so grateful for you all for watching. I'm so grateful to all our customers over the years, our sponsors over the years. And most of all, I'm so grateful to all the help that we've had on the team through the years helping us. Because what's very special is a dream that I spoke about just a few years ago is starting to come true. On one final note, please respect our privacy and don't come to our home. Please enjoy it here on the internet in these videos, but you are absolutely not welcome to stop by. Please respect our privacy and do not come to my house.